something, thank you, that did this in the past. The team got fed up with asking all the cost of stuff and decided to invent something. So six people spent the summer in someone's garage, well, just one night a week in this garage, took ideas of cops all, some from Molly, and put something together. And so the story has it, they said one day here, we think we ought to, everybody ought to dance this and nothing else. Which then caused an age here that lasted for three nights and lots of argument. Anyway, it's coming to our into our uh, way of thinking, our way of life, uh, and I'm going to teach you the basics of capital and possibly three dances to think how quickly you pick it up. The advanced class there got it all in about five seconds, so the rest of you have no excuses. Some of you here, I'm quite relieved to say, have been to workshops before, so you might remember it, and most of you have probably seen this dance far too often, and um, have sort of seen it happen. Anyway, right. We we'll start out uh, from a big circle, or a big approximation of a circle, a large collection of people around the outside so we can all see each other, so that we can get on with the steps. Um, I'm glad to see that we had the advanced class on stepping capers and stuff this morning uh, by the wonderful Sheffield City. Uh, Amateur is much easier. It's got only two types of step. Ish. Um, ish. Right. In all the figures, the stepping is quite simple. It's, uh, it's a double step, one, two, three, and then jump, land, and then single, 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 and single, and then one, two, three, and jump, land on both feet, followed by four singles. Now, before you all try and get into that, may as well get the points of style across first of all. <laughs> You're reaching very high, trying to bring the arms down in a controlled way, but it doesn't always happen. Then there's a sort of gather for the jump, and then the, both arms should come back to the bottom of the ribcage. I think it's where the sternum ends. <laughs> I'd better not come on here to find it. Unless you go around um, Right, and then once you've got the arms there, it's, sorry, it's a left foot start, like most Christians. Then the single steps all start with a left foot and it's left on that with a single step, 45 degrees, it comes back, the other one goes out with the right step, left and right, and what the ideal thing that then happens is that when you've got this fourth arm out there, that that goes up while the spare arm goes up to start the beginning of the double step. Even the, bre the, breast, the, the blessed St. Brian of the Manda could always get that right <laughs> in figures. Anyway, so the bottom is remember R, it's double step, foot together, jump, land with a, with a bounce, and then four singles. And it always and all the dances start with a watch to yourself, which is hands at the solar plexus with four single steps. So I well have a bit, bit, bit of music to introduce it, Billy Bone to do. Yes, so we start on the left. Single steps. 
in forces. And sometimes you move the arms, sometimes you don't. So, uh, the figures were designed to be not Cotswold figures at all, and none of them, probably most of them are not familiar, and most look nothing like Cotswold figures, which is what makes it distinctive. But circles and triangles feature quite a lot. So, you need sets of six, so gather yourselves together in sets of six. Uh, it's, whoa, in this room, I don't have to work. This is where we can have six. Anyway, sort yourself out. Assume this is up for now. And of course, you all probably start out thinking a set of six needs to be in two parallel lines. Because that's how we always dance. That's what they all think. Okay. It's the first of the slate council. The set starts off in a circle. So you start out in a circle facing in. If there are only three of you, you can still get through most of it in an inventive way, as long as you're in the right places. And and I'll just apologise, I will come in and dance and set willingly normally, but last night we had a table spot and just to try and prove that I can still dance I'm either my 40 year old at my 60 year old age are pulled the muscle. So it was one that pulled itself during the week when I was asleep with cramp. So <laughs> yeah. Right, okay, so I have circles facing in. <laughs> right, okay. The first figure is called sphincter. The body has lots of muscles, so they're called sphincter muscles, and their job is to tighten and relax around things. Most of us tend to think of only one of them, but the body is full of them. They do all sorts of things. And the way it works is that you double step into the centre of your circle and jump together in a fairly tight bunch. So it's very dramatic. That's all we all can see. And then on the four single steps, you turn first left through 90 degrees, and then left through 90 degrees again. So you're facing out, but the circle is still the same radius. You haven't have moved out of it yet. And now we've loads of fun, because on two single, single steps, you move out radially from your positions. Which means that it'll be exactly six degrees between you and the person next door. Six times six times three and six times. Don't be able to tell you from managing here this one. And then you've got another double step. So you then dart out further with that double step. And jump looking out to the audience and you say hello to them and smile and make them happy. And then with the force that then you, then you land, and then you turn around uh, on single steps. Uh, left shoulder, so we always turn left shoulder, it's quite simple, and get back into a set, which the same part of the order dance is going to teach you is back into a normal possible set of two lines facing each other. So we have one, well, one of the things that is a problem, of course, is when the space is tight like this. Um, then we try and constrain ourselves and both dance out too much. The abbreviation for that is time pass. Um, anyway, enough of that. So, we may as well, we may as well dance that. So get, it, get it into, your, into your circles, ready to, ready to dance, and then when the music tells you, as, and I'll tell you at this time, forcing the sense to yourself, dance into the middle, and I'll talk you through it. So, we'll have to get out the whole day of it. So, yes. We go out to the dog. Yeah, when you, when you, 
When you go in, you turn, you turn on the first two, two. Then and then you can move down a bit on those other two. Okay. Right. I won't teach you the second finger now, because it's the most complicated one. It's easy to come back to it. So the second finger is called line. Note the singularity. Not line, it's just line. So what should happen is that You've got, you've got five. Oh, you've got five, that's right. Okay. Right. What's the stepping is the same. So what we're going to do is on the double step, down forward slightly, shoulder to shoulder, and then jump in one line together, shoulder to shoulder. Then on the four singles, you start out by heading out slightly to the right, and, and then turning around gently on those four single steps, looking at all the lines all the time to make sure that they're perfect straight, of course. So that takes you to the opposite person's place, and then it's repeated, double step in, beat right shoulder to right shoulder, in one perfect straight line, all jumped together, very dramatically, and then out to your right, turning left, and back to place. It's not that difficult, except getting the lines absolutely straight. And particularly watching the soup come through. So, that's all they did. So that your shoulder is 
pointing in. If you're five, you turn around a bit more, line up your shoulders and, uh, with mine. What we should have is 120 yeah. degrees between us. It's their feet, you can use it with uh, and the right. You're on the other side, so you have to come in and put your left shoulder into the centre, but your shoulders are pulling out that, that way. And then you just come around with it. So, this is where we jump for the first time. And if you're looking down from, from above, you think, oh yes, there's a Mercedes sign. That, with just an imaginary circle around the other side. And, yes, yeah. so you're forming a line there, forming a line there, forming a line there, right. And it should be actually fairly tight, so we're not going to come a bit close together because there's quite a lot of travel. And as you get older, you realise it gets more difficult. Actually, it's quite a good thing on the second triangle because you don't have to go as far. Now, so it's a double step here, we all jump up together, and then on the single steps, you grab the arm of the person in your pairing. Uh, just cut it down there. Well, none of this crab stuff or lobster claw. You don't put your thumb and try and stop the blood flow. It's just cutting And then on the single steps, we dance around each other. Let go on the third one, which by which time you should have got back to your place. And then on the fourth one, you just turn slightly, which is that's like a perfect position. You turn slightly to look for where that person is, is still. And we, and we, we three in the centre are going to be going around anti-clockwise. So, so you'll be going to where number two was. Number two comes to where I was, and I comes to where you were. So we move on a place. Meanwhile, the other three will realise what they've got to do. So they'll travel a bit further to get them out, and they'll be jumping in. And this point, I remind the musicians and all go around each other. There, it's a double length figure, so there are two lots of main music groups. And you start to get a bit lost by now, but with any luck, you just all are spinning around and go, get around the three, turn it on the fourth, you've got the head see whether the next person you should be looking at, something like that, yeah. Then, then we move on, jump again, another repeat perfect the same sign, and now we go, three times around, and then the fourth, just to get into position. And then, she back home. Um, but you saw the dance again. You, 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 you're coming out to the front of the Because, because, yeah, you, 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 because what you're what then end up doing is jump. And you have to let go a bit early. Instead of going around three times when you're going, you've got to unwrap to get back into the set. So, you had this brief talk through, you're in perfect position, you're now going to be something that you've done for the first time to get the set. So, we'll have a go. I'll try and talk you through it. It's an uh, interesting thing. <laughs> Thank you. 
And I'll try and talk you through it all slowly. It's probably best to walk it through as I describe it. So, the first trio go to the centre. First trio only, but the others stay still. First trio into the centre. <laughs> Jump. Passing clockwise, you then, on four single steps, go to your opposite place and slip into it as easy as you can. So just stand behind the first one there. It's a big part of case. So now, the second trio, so you will dance anti-clockwise around the outside to jump, and then four single steps, you carry on going around the outside to get to your opposite place. So you should just have it in good consent. Anyone not got that name yet? So then, take care of look where you are. So if you were the second trio, you, well, you go into the second set, and the first trio goes around and clockwise around the outside. And then on the single steps, you get back to place. I'm not quite sure what the voting might be lost if we're this. Right, okay. We're all out going dancing it together. Now, when you, at the end of your 
further down step, so I'll see step. You should try not to go any further down, down here, the reason we can't kind of And then, we then have a bit more double stepping to do. So if you're five or six, you go outside, you turn, turn a sharp corner, don't, don't go forward, you have to dance sideways. From there, but of course you have to go to the left ones. So you dance, double step sideways, the middles then only come, have to go a little bit forward to join you. And one or two have most of the work. Certainly right, tend to be good in the front of the set. And then, so you all jump together and you've got four single steps, so we'll turn left, and then left again, and third and fourth, on the spot, both feet down, right arms out. We used to insist on stopping on one foot, but you get falling over. So, <laughs> so it's quite dramatic, uh, and a big float of it, and we'll try and dance it for you now, which will be so much fun for those who have done it before. So the other one is, before we, hold, before, before we go line, face it up, jump, meeting together very quickly, and then the nine or six come out, all jump, and turn around, and look up to the music, and the one for all So, start from all set, and here we go.
to justify it. So you start it out with the sphincter, when you're facing it in a circle. Uh, now remember the deliberate mistake is that you double step in, jump, turn left, turn left on the single steps, and then stay put for the second two, for the last two single steps. Then double step out, jump, meet the audience, and use the single to get back in set. Then it's OS, first trio in, turn clockwise, second trio, turning anti clockwise, starting out the other out the outside. Then it's line, using shoulder to shoulder. Then triangle, we have three in, uh, done like music, and we dance around each other for synthesis, and finish out the cast. And then we'll give a chorus. Um, and that's it, you can sing for me, so that's all. Yes, uh, so start with the circles. I hope it's small. So, that's it. Facing, looking for opposite places. Turn. So we should all be looking across the set at our partners 
in a perfect circle. So we've all got to take this as a travel. And then we've got four single steps to get home. And there's only one way to do it. We all have to cross at the same time, without mercy, trying not to deviate from a straight line any more than is absolutely necessary. So we all do this together, so we're one. And round about the second one, we should all have met. Yeah, and there's no, no room for hesitation, deviation. And then the third one, you should be out of the set. We'll have that nut. And the fourth one, you turn around, get back into place. So on that fourth bit, I just remember the positions. We have always slow the music down a bit. Because people don't always quite get back in time. Right. Oh, so, what a wind that rise on the silver and he must come so well down. Yeah, 
don't have half a is that tool, but we can have a half OS. Is that clear? Yes. So, just S, because it's just O or S. So, the first trio go into the center, while the second trio go around the outside. Use the single step to get back to place exactly as you did earlier. Except, sorry? Yes, back to get back to the back to the back to the And then the sticking is repeated from there. So we'll have a musical intro and then we'll do the sticking again. And then we'll do the other half of the OS.
which has the chorus or dance to join together. And so we use the song as a way of breaking up the dance, which means you have even more rest. And as you get older, it becomes more and more precious. attractive and precious. Um, so they're almost amusing to say, no, we're only dancing in the music. Right, when it starts, the dancers just had courses that had single stepping or stepping a half pay, half a less. And well, that's a bit too simple, you know, because if you think of a tradition like Field Town, which has all these slows and complex figures and a variety, well, how can we make that look different? Uh, I'm really regretting the idea now, but anyway, we're going to go with it. Uh, so the latest dance is that we use OS in the chorus and we also move around the set. I felt like we probably feeling hands of hunger and low blood sugar and the last one okay. is a really challenging, difficult dance we can explain to you in 10 minutes. Well, go. So we'll have a demonstration set up in the centre who will be the first ones to learn the chorus. Oh, oh, it's called the Bed Shekinah. The Bed Shekinah. The Bed Shekinah is a suet roll. Meat and vegetables at one end, uh, fruit and jam on the other. So delicious in the end, rather disgusting in the middle. The ends will probably be thrown away. It's like a pasty, but it's what was Bed Shekinah used for uh, working in brick fields, or in agricultural fields, picking out the most popular of Brussels sprouts. No, not many pops. So, in the chorus, um, actually you get rest in this chorus, it's not good. So the first trio, what they will do is dance four, sing or ten, four single steps and then you go to something like your S. On the first two single steps, you stay where you are. On the third four single of the third step, if you're in the chorus, so one and five, you turn to look at the centre. If you're in the middle, like four, you go back out. So that you, you have eight, eight distance to come in. So then you double step in the jump, just like OS. So you do that now and you jump. And then you start going around clockwise around each other. And just keep going around. And then a bit more, keep going around and then stop. Now you'll see there's a space. You move around the set. So what we then do is we then double step, turning around, we go out of the set, turning around the left shoulder with a double step, and come back into the place, and you finish it with a jump. Which is the cue for the other three to come and join you. Because what? There's then a four, which is connect. I used to say eyes, but people thought I was always calling the bigger called mind. The important thing is to get eye contact with the first opposite, because the first opposite will come in with a jump. And what you're trying to do, if you're in the second trio, is to draw in that jump at the same time and avoid the flexible wave that is sometimes inevitable. So we three then have a bit of a job on our hands. So we so we all jump. And then we've got, of course, so they've got um, two singles on the spot, and then two to turn them all together out. And then we both step into the centre. Yeah. Because we're seven trios, we have to go around the anti-clockwise. So we keep short the shoulder, you see a space, and then you dance around your right shoulder with the double step, gather and jump. And of course, the ones who are there waiting for you wait for the call to connect so that they all jump together, and then we go to the figure. So the rhythm is a bit strange. Um, because you come out of the jump and then straight into the double step. Anyway, we will now the advanced part, we'll go back to our first place. So we realise that you move around the set now, which is why I'm regretting. So you can give us an A and a chorus, and we'll try and dance it. Thank you. 
So, start out in a circle. In a circle, in a tight circle, facing in. Fairly tight. Make a circle. And what happens in circles is the middle always takes the in the center. They like going out. They always, it's always the, the, the little one middle one, which would love to go out. Okay, you turn out. And uh, the whole dance, well, the whole dance. Just do spinter, line, and cast. That will be confusing enough. Unless I'm feeling too much I might say yes.
and of course.